It is vital that the issues that, are, that school closures create are properly considered and appropriately dealt with. It is, of course, right that the interests of the most vulnerable children, those who are known to social care because of issues such as abuse and neglect or with additional learning needs, are being prioritised. However, we know that many highly vulnerable children are hidden from view and do not benefit from the official status that will mean that they can continue to attend school. For instance, as highlighted by Bernardos, what about children living in domestic abuse households who do not have a social worker or an education and health care plan? How will they be protected?